hello everybody welcome to yoga for self-love with kim i am kim today's practice will be about a 30 minute gentle practice focusing on the arms and the shoulders so bring yourself to your mat you can start wherever you feel like starting today you can find a comfortable seated position or you can bring yourself down onto your back in a little shavasana. Or you could bring yourself into child's pose. So get comfortable wherever that works for you. Allow yourself to relax. Let your foundation get heavy. So if you're lying on your back in Shavasana, let all of the parts of you that are coming into contact with your mat, with the earth, let those points get heavy. Let gravity have you. Begin to let everything soften, let go. If you're in a seated position, let the feet, the legs, the hips and pelvis get heavy and root down towards the earth, but find some buoyancy up through the spine and out through the crown of the head. Close your eyes and let yourself be here. Stopping before we get started, just taking a moment to unwind and let go. Put down your to-do list and release yourself from any obligations or responsibilities. Just be here with yourself. Be with yourself for this next 30 minutes. As always, I invite you to bring in the intention to move through your practice with gentleness, kindness, love, compassion, patience for yourself. Relax your feet, your legs, your hips and pelvis. Relax your buttocks and your belly. Relax through your low back, your mid back, your upper back. Relax through your rib cage and your chest, your collarbones, your shoulders, your arms, your hands and your fingers, your fingertips. Relax through your neck and your throat, and if you like, gently rock your head side to side. And bring your head to center. Relax your jaw. Relax your tongue. Relax the roof of your mouth through your soft palate. Relax your face, your eyes, your eyebrows. Soften and open through your third eye space in between the eyebrows. Relax your cheekbones and your temples, your forehead, your scalp crown of your head. Let your mind relax. And begin to shift your awareness to your breath.
Take a few nice deep breaths here. In through the nose and then exhaling out through the mouth or sighing the breath out of your mouth. slowly begin to bring yourself back to the moment. Begin to slowly invite movement in, wiggle fingers and toes. Roll out your wrists, your ankles, yawn, sigh, move your body, however it wants to move. Maybe you reach the arms up overhead, maybe one arm up, one arm down. Just whatever comes naturally and organically. And then bring your legs together. Reach the arms up overhead. You can flutter the eyes open or keep the eyes closed for now. Reach out through your fingers, down through your toes. And then let everything relax. And then we'll roll over onto our left side. Bend your knees and stack the legs on top of each other. You could tuck a blanket underneath your head here if you like. Then take that right leg in front of that left leg. So you're sort of hooking the left leg with that right knee. You can bring the right knee down to the floor in front of you. You could put a blanket underneath the right knee as well or tuck a block underneath the right knee if that feels better. Bring this left arm out in front of you. And then we'll reach the right arm out so the right palm comes to meet the left. And then begin to slowly pull this right arm back to the right. You can bend the right elbow Begin to unfurl the right arm out to the right side. Bend the right elbow. Bring that right arm back over to meet the left hand. And a few times, slowly, easily, gently, you bend the right elbow. Begin to unfurl the right arm back out to the right side. And then bend the right elbow again. Reach that right arm back out to meet the left. A few more times, opening and closing this right arm, finding some opening across the chest, beginning to lubricate the arm and the shoulder. And then the next time you Open the right arm out to the right side. Keep the right elbow bent and this right arm hovering above the floor. Now begin to slowly glide the right arm up and overhead. So the fingers come up above the head, the arm is hovering above the floor, and then you pull the right elbow down along that right side. And again, reach that right arm, hands, fingers, up overhead, almost as if you were a kid making a snow angel or a sand angel here. Just lifting and lowering this right arm up overhead and then bringing the elbow back down to the side. And then bring the right arm back over to meet the left. Roll yourself on to your back and then slowly on to your right side. Same thing here. Stack the knees and then you can bring this left knee over the right, sort of hook that right leg down, bring the right arm out to the side and again, blanket underneath the head if you like here. 
left palm comes to meet the right and then begin to bend the left elbow, open this left arm out to the left side. And roll the head with you if you like. Then you bend the left elbow, reach that left arm back across the body and over to meet that right palm. Bend the left elbow, you slowly pull that left arm back out to the left, open and unfurl that arm. And then you bend that left elbow, Left arm comes back over to meet the right. Couple more times, opening, closing. This left arm. And then the next time you open the left arm out to the side, keep it here. Keep that left elbow bent and begin to sweep that left arm up and overhead so the hand and the fingers will come up over your head. Left arm hovering above the mat. And you pull that left elbow down to the left side. Open the fingers out to the side. And then you sweep that left arm, left hand back up overhead. You should feel some nice opening through that left armpit into the shoulder. A couple more times, lifting and lowering this left arm. And then you bring that left arm back over to make the right. And then slowly find your way over onto your hands and knees. Bring it into child's pose for a moment with the legs together, inner legs together. Bum back to your heels. Release your forehead down to the mat or tuck a block underneath your forehead or make a little pillow with your arms. few nice deep breaths here. Breathing into your back body, up into the back of your lungs, filling all of your lungs, every nook and cranny, every corner. And then from your child's pose, we'll now come on to the forearms. Fingers pointing up towards the top of your mat. And take the right hand to rest on the back of your head. So right elbow will come out to that right side. And then we'll begin to peel the right elbow up towards the ceiling. Begin to shift your gaze up. So you're looking up towards that right elbow. And then bring that right elbow down to the mat. And then again, begin to peel that right elbow up and out to the side. You slowly begin to turn the head to look up towards that right elbow. And then right elbow comes back down to the mat. A couple more times, lifting, lowering this right elbow to your degree. Always being gentle, allowing your body to open. Don't force your body to do anything. It doesn't usually like that too much. <laughs> it may rebel <laughs> against you. So gentle find <laughs> with yourself and then right elbow comes down now bring that right forearm down to the mat fingers down to the mat and we'll switch it to the other side take the left hand to rest on the back of your head you could take the hand around just to rest on the low back if that feels better and just open and close the elbow this way but if it feels okay, bring the hand to the back of the head and then we'll begin to peel that left elbow up. Slowly begin to peek up towards that left elbow and then left elbow comes down to the mat. And then again, you peel that left elbow up, peek up. Left elbow comes back down a couple more times. And 
and then bring that left elbow down, left forearm down to the mat. Come back to sit on your heels and then find your way into a comfortable seat. Sit up on something if you like, block, bolster, or blanket. And then we'll begin to just rock the body from side to side, bringing in a little bit of movement. Can begin to roll the shoulders with you as you go and maybe begin to sweep the arms out from side to side reforming it here or you can take the right hand down to the right fold over to the right left arm up over the ear and then you move it from side to side this way bring yourself up to center roll your torso around in a few circles And then switch the direction. And then bring yourself back up to your starting point. Let's open the arms out to the sides, lift your heart up, lift the gaze. And now we'll curl in, begin to round through the back Wrap the arms in front of the chest like you're giving yourself a hug. Give yourself some love. And then open up the arms. Lift the heart. Curl it in again. This time bring the other arm on top. Give yourself a little hug. Open the arms wide. Lift your heart. Maybe smile. <laughs> and then curl it in. Other arm on top. Open the arms wide again. Curl it in and then release the arms down. Now reach your arms forward. We begin to reach the fingers forward and around through the back. You can drop the chin down to the chest as you do this. Feel the spread of your shoulder blades, the protraction. And then we'll begin to pull the shoulders back, arms come back into the sockets and then you pull the shoulder blades back towards each other behind you, retracting the shoulders. And let's move back and forth between this. Reach the arms forward, begin to round through the back, find that spread of your shoulder blades. And then you pull the arms back. And then a few times, reach the fingers forward, round through the back, and then you retract the shoulders, pull the arms back. And now cactus the arms, reach the fingers up. Fingers in line with the elbows. Then we'll drop the hands down to face the floor and then begin to pull the arms back. So bending from the elbows, palms facing behind you now. Lift the arms back up so palms are facing the ground and then you lift it up, palms facing forward few times, palms to face down, palms to face back behind you. Lift the hands back up, palms facing the floor. And again, you lift the arms up, cactus arms. A couple more times, roll it through. And then we'll just open the arms, bring the arms out to your sides, palms to face up. And then Turn the palms to face behind you, roll the shoulders in. And then again, arms wide, palms to face up and out. And then you curl the shoulders in, just moving the shoulders from an internal rotation here and then opening into an external rotation here. So you open the palms and lift the heart. A couple more times, curl the arms in, palms face back, open it up. And then release, give yourself a few little shoulder shrugs here. And then come over onto hands and knees. Coming 
into our table position. Bring the hips up over the knees, shoulders up over the wrists, and then we'll take it into a puppy pose. Walk your hands forward. Begin to slowly lower your heart down towards the mat. Keep the hips where they are, lined up over the knees. You could release your forehead down to the mat or tuck a block underneath your forehead or bring the arms in, stack the forearms on top of each other. few deep breaths here, allowing the heart to melt down, finding some space through the armpits, through the shoulders, through the upper back. And then walk your hands in, come into our table position. Now turn the right fingers around so the fingers are facing your knees now. And if that doesn't quite work, you can just turn the hands back and out to the side. So the right fingers will turn back and out to the right side of the mat. But if it's available to you, you can turn the fingers to face back towards your knees. You're just getting an opening through this right forearm, through the wrist. You can stay here or begin to draw your bum back towards your knees. You feel it a little bit more intensely through that right forearm. And then bring it back to your table. Turn that right hand around to face the top of the mat. And then we'll switch to the other side. Turn the left fingers around. So fingers face back towards your knees or just out to the left side. Stay here or begin to pull your bum back towards your heels. And then release that, turn that hand back around. One more time each side, flip the fingers, the right fingers to face back towards your knees or back towards the right side of the mat and gently pull your bum back. And then turn that right hand back around to face top of your mat. Flip the left hand around. Fingers turning back towards your knees or out towards the left side of the mat. Pull your bum back. And feel that opening through that left wrist forearm. And then turn the hand around. Now turn the hands to face up, fingers facing in towards each other. So you're on the backs of your hands, palms are facing up. And have a bend in the elbows here and just gently rock yourself side to side little wrist release and then bring it back to center come back into your table now we'll take it into a downward dog root into your fingers down into your toes glide your hips up into a downward dog press down and out through the hands down through the heels lift up through your armpits Find whatever movement you like here. Pedal out your legs, or bend and straighten the knees, or rock yourself back and forth or side to side. Roll up onto balls of feet, tippy toes, and then press heels towards your mat. Again, roll it up, balls of feet, tippy toes, press heels towards your mat. Once more, roll it up, balls of the feet, and then press your heels towards the mat. Now walk your feet in just a little bit, so you're still in downward dog, but it's a short downward dog now. Press down into your left finger pads. Get really strong down through that left hand and come up onto your right finger pads. So the right palm is lifted. You're up on the finger pads. Staying really strong through that left hand. Now stay here or 
bring that right hand underneath your body and over towards that left ankle or shin. Keep staying really strong to the left finger pad. So maybe you peek up under that left armpit and then bring that right hand back down to the mat, root into your right finger pads. Feel that right palm suctioning up a little bit and then come up onto left finger pads, fingertips. Stay here or reach that left arm underneath your body and over towards that right ankle or shin. Take a little peek up under that right armpit and then bring that left hand back down to the mat and then slowly find your way up to the top of your mat. Hold yourself in, belly to thighs, head hangs down, hands to the mat or grab your elbows or you can wrap the arms around the back of the calves. Shake, nod the head. Rock the hips. Take hands to your hips, press into your feet and lift your heart, come all the way up. Bring your palms together at your heart. Now, as you inhale, nice deep breath in, reach the right hand up, right palm faces the sky, left hand reaches down. As you exhale, bring the palms back through center and then switch sides. Next inhalation, you reach that left palm, palm up, right palm facing down. Exhale, hands back to center. Inhale, you switch. Back to center, switch. Back to center, one more time, each side. Inhale, right arm up, left arm down, palms back together. And then the last one, left palm up, right palm down, palms back together. And take it into a warrior one. Step your right foot back. You find your stance, whatever feels okay for you today. You can shorten up the stance if you need to. We'll bend the left knee, begin to Lower down, left knee tracking over the ankle, hug that left hip back, maybe your right hip forward a little bit so hips are facing up towards the top of your mat, but being very cautious with that right knee. So just make sure your right feel, knee feels really good. If not, step that right foot up a little bit or allow that right hip to just open a tiny bit to accommodate the back knee. Reach the arms up. And now we'll open the arms out to the sides as we did when we were seated. And now we'll round through the back, cross the arms in front of your chest, wrap yourself in a little hug, give yourself some love, and then open the arms wide, lift the heart up. Curl it in, arms wrap across the chest, chin down towards the chest, you round through the back. And then open it up, arms wide, curl it back in, arms cross the chest, open it up, and then you reach your arms up, sink a little deeper into that front knee, release the arms down, step yourself forward, other side, left foot steps back, bend that right knee, press down into that back heel, hug the right hip back, left hip forward a little bit, Open the arms, reach up, and then we'll open the arms out to the sides. Lift the heart, really ground it through the feet, hug in through the legs, and then we'll curl it in. Cross the arms over the chest, open the arms wide. Again, curl it in, other arm crosses on top, you round in, open the arms up. Curl it back in, other arm on top, open the arms. Last one, curl it in, and then you open the arms up, reach up. Take hands back down to the mat, and step yourself back to downward dog. Lower your knees down to the mat. Come back into child's pose, knees together or knees wide. Bum back to your heels. Arms can be extended out in front. You can turn the palms to face up or down. Or if you like, relaxed child. Bring the arms alongside your feet and your shins. A 
and then arms come forward, press yourself up. Give yourself a few little shoulder shrugs or shoulder rolls. And then drop over to one hip, swing your legs around. Find your way back down into your Shavasana. Extend the legs out, or if you prefer, bend the knees and bring the feet to the mat. Or use some props here, bolster a blanket under the legs, maybe a blanket under the head. If you cover yourself up here, snuggle up into a little cocoon, get cozy. Find any last movement that you need here. And then just allow yourself to be quiet. Close your eyes. Let go, relax. Stay here for as long as you like. When you feel ready, begin to call yourself back. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, yawn, sigh. Wiggle, stretch. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Connect in. How do you feel? Come back to your intention to be gentle, kind, patient, loving, compassionate with yourself. And then give yourself one more little hug. Cross the arms over the chest. Hug yourself, job well done, good for you, showing up for your practice today. And then you can release yourself from your hug, slowly roll yourself over to one side. Pause here and then slowly Press yourself up. Bring yourself back into a seated position. Bring your palms together at your heart. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. With love and gratitude, namaste.